Uh, when I was a kid, my dad used to like watching 60 Minutes every Sunday night. This is my brother, so he's laughing because I'm bringing up my dad already. Um, now my dad, my dad loved to watch 60 Minutes, and I used to watch it with him. And we like we liked Harry Reasoner and Morley Safer and uh, Mike Wallace, but we both really liked Ted Bradley. And my dad liked Ed Bradley because Ed Bradley had gone to St. Tommy Moore High School in West Philadelphia, and so had my father. And you know, every Sunday my dad would Ed Bradley's you know segment would come on, and my dad would be like, "Ed Bradley, he went to St. Tommy Moore's." You know, my dad was very proud of St. Tommy Moore's. It had closed down, so the alumni was very, very, um, you know, they, they were very strong. The alumni. I liked Ed Bradley because he, he was just so freaking suave. You know, he was tall with a beard, he liked jazz, he had a pierced ear. You know, he was just cool and he was in all these faraway places. He was just very suave. So that's why I liked Ed Bradley. But, so anyway, I ended up going to college for TV and radio. Um, graduate and uh, graduate and get a job working and um, producing a national news feed down at Fifth and Market. It was a great job to be right out of college and producing news. and. Um, and you know, I got to do some cool things. Go to the Reagan Gorbachev Summit, the Republican Convention, and um, so it was, it was very interesting. But what was also interesting was, for a couple of years, I got to live down in Philadelphia. I had an apartment, and I would be part of the pub crawl scene. And my friends would come down, my brother would come down, and we'd, we'd go, you know, do the pub crawls to Manny Brown, to Dickens Inn, to Trocadero, to the Khyber Pass, to the Vault. You know, all those. We would see all the bands, and just you know, we had a great time. But that was my life. Uh, so I also used to, uh, because I always wanted to write, I wrote for a couple weekly papers out here in the suburbs. And occasionally I'd get a call from an editor. Would you like to go cover a story? So the editor calls me one time and says, Ed Bradley's going to come speak at Westchester University. Would you like to you know, go cover it? And I'm like, yes, that'd be awesome. Ed Bradley, that's great. So I drive out here to Westchester to the university. And um, Ed Bradley gets up on stage and speaks. And, you know, of course, he's up there in a fine suit. He's just so debonair, so freaking suave. And, you know, and so after he's done speaking, there's a group of us that get to go speak to him for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And, you know, it's all young, guy, young guys and gals right out of college. And we're there. And it, was, it wasn't as much as we were interviewing. As I swear, I think we were all trying to impress him. I think in our minds we all thought, you know, I'm going to interview him so well, he's going to take me up to thirty to rock, to, you know, to Black Rock in New York, and I'm going to be producing 60 Minutes next season, you know, and so it was almost like a little competition. Every, you know, all these young, eager reporters, you know, trying to ask him the right questions. So, my first, it finally gets around to me, and I ask, you know, I said, now, Mr. Bradley, I know you went to St. Tommy Moore. Um, can you tell me about how that? Um, how that affected you, you know, in how that played a part in your development. Then he, he looks at me and he goes, well, you know, I did go to St. Tommy Moore, but really I had gone to um, this other, he had gone to a, another school up in, like a prep school up in New England, and his family had run out of funds. So, you know, he's like, really, I just came to St. Tommy Moore my senior year because we were low on funds. So uh, St. Tommy Moore is really not a big part of my life. I consider myself that I went to St. Charles. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, man. And my father had passed away a few years before, and I'm like crestfallen. Like, oh, man, if my dad had heard that, you know? So, so other people are asking him questions, and I'm trying to recover from that and thinking about all that. So, so it finally comes around. I'm like, Mr. Bradley, you know, you've been all over the world. What is the one place in the world that, what's the most incredible place you've ever been in the world? And he goes, well, I'd have to say the most incredible place I've ever been in the world is the Khyber Pass. To which I replied, you mean the bar in Philly? And as soon as I said it, he just looked at me. And the other, the, you know, all these other little you know, reporters start snickering at me. And I just start shrinking down like, oh my god. Because as soon as I said it, I knew. No, he's not talking about the freaking part of Philly and moron. And, you know, but Mr. Bradley, you know, with all his debonair, he just said to me, he's like, no, actually, the Khyber Pass, you know, it's the trading route between Afghanistan and Pakistan. And, uh, you know, it's uh, very desolate, but very beautiful, and there's great tribal culture there. 
And um, that was the most embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs>